Hello Red Force Pilots, Plasma1945 with you with a very tragic video here. This is the Flanker J-11 Chinese aircraft, which is the only Red 4 aircraft that is capable of carrying a Fox 3 Fire and Forget active missile. Now, Fire and Forget is a special word because you still need to guide the missile for a little bit before it goes active but the J-11 does have that capability. The other flankers, such as the Su-33, Su-27, do not have this missile, which means its missiles you need to track all the way to target, except for the R-73 and the ET. Those are heat seekers, so those are kind of fire and forget. Now, what is a FOX-3? The FOX-3 is a active radar guided missile which means that it has a little seeker in its head that sends out radar signals and it tracks the target on its own so you need to get it within about 10 miles of the target and then it'll try to fly by itself and find the target which means you can go cold so turn away from the hostile so we're gonna have an opportunity to test this out here now as you can see I am flying fast as stink I brought four R-77s, two 73s, jamming pods, and I'm on Growling Sidewinder. I am flying very fast. This is a Mach 1.7 launch on a target. Now, if you look at my screen, I've magnified the weapon employment cone. That's the ring triangle in front of my plane. As soon as that aircraft is in it, I can launch my missile. So he's in the zone, and there is a Fox 3. This missile is being launched from speed and altitude that it, most people don't fly at. So this is a super ideal shot because this missile had an extra Mach 1.7 of speed, giving it a boost. But what happens? The F-16 notches it and the missile can't find it and it can't even keep up with it. Despite having that launch within employment zone, no good. Let's go to the TAC view. So here's yours truly, Plasma in the J-11 and here's our launch. I'm at 1.7 Mach, the missile pops all the way to Mach 4.7, almost hypersonic as it heads towards the enemy. This shot was at a range of about 32 kilometers. So the missile is tracking, the hostile turns cold and pulls away. As the missile dives through the thicker air, its speed starts to rapidly decrease. It's Mach 1.3, but it's no longer going to catch that airplane. And now at Mach 1.0, we can call it defeated. All right, so that was a pretty ideal shot. I still want to get that hostile, so I'm going to turn right into him and give it another try here. I'm still cruising pretty quick. Now I'm pushing Mach 1.8. I'm 1,900 kilometers an hour at an altitude of 10,000 meters, guys. This is pretty darn quick. That's why I went with such a light loadout, just so I can get as much speed as I can into those shots. So here's the hostile. He's turning into me. He's in my weapon employment zone. Look at that. He's halfway to my airplane. I fire a Fox 3. That shot was taken at Mach 1.5, I think. So let's watch this missile. She's trying to get him. She's accelerating. She's looking for the hostile. But the F-16 does not care, pulls away, the missile loses lock, and it is turned into garbage. Now imagine if you had an AIM-120 B or C that you were firing at a speed of Mach 1.7, 1.5 on a guy who was hot. All right, let's watch this again. I'm pulling one Mach 1.85 in this turn. I should have just made this video about me defending the crazy missile that they fired at me. All right, Mach 1.8. Nice gentle turn, there's Proteus facing me, and here's the launch. That's a Mach 1.8 missile, guys. Off this get-go, and it pushes up to Mach 4.7, which is the top speed, and it's on its way. It is so close, but also it's losing all of its speed because it's a flying brick. All that the F-16 has to do is just go cold, and the missile is not going to catch him. The guy is not even maneuvering. He's just pulling away cold. He's doing a little bit of rolling and the missile is now 0.8 Mach. The F-16 is safe. <sighs> this is very frustrating. All right, there's another target. Let's try it maybe third time's the charm. You know it's not gonna be the charm, but okay. Let's try out our fabulous Fox 3 R-77. 
So there's the cone again. So I'm going to target the closer guy. Watch the cone snap. There we go. He is in the cone as I continue turning. I'm at about Mach 1.5 here or close to it. Here comes the launch, Fox 3. The guy's halfway through my cone, another F-16. All right, pilots, while we wait for the missile, make sure you hit subscribe. The missile has a good launch speed and it's tracking him. We'll take a look at the speeds in TAC view, but for now, all we know is the hostile is right below it, trying to turn away. He's popping defenses. The chaff and flare are not working out because the missile is still tracking him, but that F-16 with two fuel tanks just turns away cold the missile loses track and it's a piece of garbage this is where the f-16 gives my r-77 the finger he didn't even need to drop his tanks he's fine and my r-77 is just cruising along and it's going to self-destruct <sighs> all right let's watch this in tack view guys here we go tack view Mach 1.3, I wasn't 1.5, it was Mach 1.37, almost 1.4. There's the launch. Let's ride along with the missile. Passes Mach 3. Doesn't quite hit Mach 4, but that guy is so close. That guy was maybe 18, 15 kilometers away. He was real close. He was halfway through my weapon employment range. All he does is just a little bit of a roll, pop some chaff flares, and he's already outrun the missile. This missile will never gonna, will never catch him. It's done. It's over. I'm frustrated. You're frustrated. The R-77 is terrible. So when do you take the R-77? If I'm flying the J-11, I'll bring one R-77. When will I use it? When a target is within the same range as the R-73. So if I see a pilot who is successfully able to pop flares and defend one R-73, I will then fire an R-77 followed by a second R-73. That is the only time that this R-77 is truly viable. Basically, we call it in Red Star, the R-73 close range missile, except with a radar seeker instead of a heat seeker. Anything beyond that, no matter how fast you're flying, 1.7, 1.8 Mach, you're helping the missile launch and get fast, it don't matter. It is a flying brick, and if you guys have watched this far and enjoyed my landing, make sure you hit subscribe, like, and share this video, of course. Plasma 1945, out.